want to bring You're in welcome. Martisa now, a columnist for the Washington Post, resident fellow, American Enterprise Institute, and a Fox News contributor. How you doing, Mark? And good morning. I'm good, Bill. Good How are you? To you? I'm reading your headline here, John Brennan and the Trump Russia Hall of Shame. Uh, what do you think happens with Adam Schiff? <laughs> Democrats have the votes. My sense is he's not going anywhere, is he, Mark? He's not going anywhere, but look, they're absolutely right that he should resign. Adam Schiff is a disgrace. And look, there are a lot of people out there in the, in the Trump-Russia collusion hall of shame, uh, reporters and pundits and commentators, uh, who said that he had colluded with Russia, coordinated with Russia, which we now know is not true. Um, but they were speaking from a pinnacle of near-perfect ignorance. What is really insidious are people who had access to classified intelligence, like Adam Schiff, who implied that, they're in, that they knew something that the rest of us didn't, that there was intelligence, that there was proof that Trump had colluded or coordinated with the Russian government when it didn't exist. I mean, just a month ago, Adam Schiff went on Meet the Press, and, and he said, I can't go into the particulars, but there is more than circumstantial evidence now that Trump colluded, and he said there would be a, a conspiracy on the size and scope probably beyond Watergate. I mean, and what he was very clearly suggesting in those comments is that he knew something we didn't. You know, it's one thing for a New York Times columnist or, or a, a newspaper columnist or a commentator on TV to say Trump colluded with Russia. It's another thing for a guy who's getting classified briefings to come out and say things that are patently yeah, and, untrue and, and, that's the point and then continue on in that position. I, I